it with all the lines back in so it's got just a wee bit of clearance right there not quite touching this is the injector lines back in so yeah it fits pretty decent um i did turn the clamp it was rubbing against here the clamp so i turned the clamp over there but works pretty good this one here the return lines back over there so yeah that's fuel system in a nutshell i guess um got the return line for the injector return ties in there still that's all still original the uh, fuel rail return still tying in right there so not changing any of that now had planned to but like i say that's that was just going to be too much work to try to tie this in over here somewhere and run a, anyway so i gave up and then i would have had I'm not sure what this sensor is for i'm guessing it's on the return so maybe it's a flow sensor telling if it's got excessive re return i'm not sure but Anyway, would have had to tie that in over on the other side somehow, so it's just about done with the fuel system. Clean those ends up there that are taped up. You got duct tape, so you gotta clean the duct tape schmoo off the ends and plug those together, then that's done. Then we're ready for a Y bridge and a wiring harness. So yeah. As you can see it's dark. It's only eleven o'clock, but it's dark. So signs of Autumn arriving. So fuel lines are all tied in there, run up and over, everything's back to the way it was, basically stock except for the filter side. I uh, put in a zip tie here. It does connect or hold down, have a hold down right here, but I've seen guys on the newer trucks where when you put a lift pump on it, it'll blow this fitting off of here. So their fix was to zip tie it. And this one here has this hold down and this kind of elbow shape but this had quite a bit of movement in it before now it doesn't doesn't do much so figure just for a little bit of security through a zip tie on that and it'll hold those two together keep that from popping apart um coolant crossover is on new gaskets in there all the arp stuff new o-ring on the oil up oil fill pipe um yeah so that's all in there and as i'm putting this on i'm also brushing the surfaces behind here so it's not perfectly clean, but I brushed all the major carbon and corrosion buildup on there from the aluminum. All these surfaces, clean this all up. So doing that also down here in the block. She already cleaned that one there so that when that new surface, or that, sorry, the uh, power steering pump bracket comes on there, it hits a nice clean surface and it's not... Um, I don't want it sitting against rust because then with a little bit of shimmying and moving, then all of a sudden that bolt could be loose, so... Just like putting your wheels on if you don't clean them properly then you actually have to retorque them i always check my wheels just to be sure but if you clean them take something and brush the corrosion out you never go loose so kind of the same thing here except i don't have a way to check it without tearing the whole truck apart again so i'd rather just have it stay tight the first time so yeah clean all those surfaces up I've got this one over here cleaned up already oops right there of course i'm not very good with this camera thing there and then the heads are aluminum and they were all cleaned up at the at the uh, machine shop but it did brush a little bit of residue off of there that's on there so pretty handy little dremel um just got that milwaukee for this job and yeah wished i would have sent this to the powder coat shop that would have been a nice one this the uh, oil fill too would have been a good one to send there it's the paint flake in there and stuff it would have been nice to have that all sent out and would have looked a little nicer here in the top but we are where we are and that's where we're going to be or hopefully not um but anyway fuel system's all in our hoses so we're up to the next part um getting close to throwing the wiring across i think just gonna have a little look around but i think that's what i'm up to and I didn't put my O-rings into the PCV system, and I have the O-rings for it, so I'm going to at least change the one over there. Change that one. Yeah, I think I'm ready to throw the wires across and start buttoning them up, and uh, see how she Side, goes. Getting the wiring harness on, get it turned. Um, first comes in from the front, lays across here. This here is going towards the top side there. We get this stuck in there yet, but i got to do something with that. It's got to be held on there. Injectors, got them going. Got a cat climbing up my leg. All right, meet, meet. This guy is meet, meet. Say hi, meet, meet. Say hi to the T and V. 
but he's climbing my leg. Uh, so injectors plugged in over here, all the way up in behind there, and then laid the harness so that this longer wire goes to the front. So you got now these bolts here will hit their mark for their hold downs. I don't know if you can see that, but that's going to go there. This one goes over here. So yeah, getting that. Got these all brushed up, all the ends of the uh, glow, glow plug wires. Got them brushed up so they're nice and clean. Going to put some dielectric on it. Just put them on. Uh, glow plugs are in. Uh, torque to 13 foot pounds, my list says. So if somebody's looking for a torque spec, that's what they go to. Oh, hey there, meet meet. Coming to help. And, uh, yeah, that's about that. These here, again, plugged in the turbo. Got to figure out all the rest of these yet. And there's a wire that's got to go on over here. And this side actually had a little wiring harness, I believe, that just plugged in here and plugged into there. That's laying over here on my bench. I'm going to just go grab that. Hey, you. Hello. My helpers. The puppies made a mess over there with a bunch of junk, so they're here helping with some cleanup. Daddy, why are you a So, yeah, this little harness snaps on over here in the back of the head, and it's going to plug in over there. We'll get that done up, and then uh, keep so going getting buttoned up. You got uh, this harness kind of comes across the top, goes up right in front of the turbo. There's a little spot over here where it clips in. Right underneath there, a little Christmas tree. The other end of that plugs in right there in the turbo uh, uh, variable vein controller right there. So that plugs in right there. I don't know why they would run that wire for all the way from this side of the harness, but they did. Uh, this here's got a little hole for a Christmas tree right into this little heat shield bracket. This here's got a Christmas tree in there, one in here. This here is going to be hooked up to something else later, maybe. I'm not sure. I forget exactly what that was hooked to, but there was something come across here, so might be something that's no longer here. Actually, it probably is because there was that temperature sensors along, or all the EGT probes and knock sensors and whatever on the exhaust. There is probably what was clipped in there, so that won't be going back. I think there's one laying over there somewhere. Yeah, this one over here. I believe that'll be what it had on there. So it was connected to this one, I believe, but that won't be going back in, so. So, uh, yeah, injectors are plugged in, gonna dielectric grease these up, put them back on. Um, probably not gonna torque spec them, I'm just gonna tighten them up. There's torque specs on there for wire nuts and everything, but I don't think I need to be that fussy. And a little Christmas tree was broken here, this harness. Mounts onto this bracket, so I just tied a zip tie around it. Gonna cut that off yet. That'll uh, hold that up the way it was. The old one just had a Christmas tree with a zip tie on it, so not a big deal. Can just knock that zip tie off next time. Uh, other than that, it's getting looking like it should on this side. A um, couple more things to do here. Put those glow plug wires on and what not and then I'll be moving to the other side uh, got the wiring harness laying it'll brighten up a bit just lays right behind all these lines here so it just kind of goes up okay there goes the light so it goes right up over top of all this and uh, once the alternator bracket goes in then there's a Christmas tree right here that pins in the back of the alternator uh, mounting bracket there's a spot for it oh, that's right there sorry Right there, so that'll run across there. A couple more plugs here, but we'll these here will be uh, stuff for the emission stuff, which won't be used again. It'll be the temperature probes and stuff that we disconnected earlier. Some of those I thought I could reuse, but the guys are telling me that once you do the delete, it turns all those off anyway. So even if you put the sensor back in the hole, it doesn't really help you anything. So being that I'm using my stock Y bridge, I believe this plug will still be used. Just because the sensor is sitting there anyway, I might as well plug it in, but it's not actually used because, because there's nothing reading it, I guess. The power's turned off to it, so whatever's there, I might as well plug in just to have it plugged in and covered. But once I get a different Y bridge, then, then all that'll be gone. So, yeah, we'll get this side done, and then we'll move over to the other side. Getting close here, so...